Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Pocket Socks, and with me is one of my good old buddies over here. We got Crash Aroni. How you doing, Hello. Crash? I'm doing great. How you doing, Pocket? Doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. Glad um, to hear. Looking forward to this wonderful game of Dota. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good game we're looking into right now. Uh, it's gonna be Team Runes versus uh, Team Black Sheep, Ooh. and um, yeah, um, looking at the brackets right now. Um, just for those who have kind of missed the first week, uh, it does look like we do have Team Vendetta and Truffle Salt at, uh, sitting at the top right now, sitting at two zero with both of their series. Vendetta absolutely dismantling Bermudan Frogs and Pretty Boy Swag day one. Uh, Truffle Salt also following in a similar fashion, taking down. Uh, let me double check that one more time. I want to say that they took out. Oh man, this is embarrassing now. <laughs> uh, Truffle Salt actually took down Black Sheep, who's going to be playing today. As well as Pretty Boy Swag, so um, they're those two. They're sitting at the top of the brackets right now. Uh, we have Team Runes. This is uh, going to be an interesting match for Team Runes. Uh, if they beat uh, Black Sheep in a two-zero, they'll go into a three-way tie uh, for first place. Blue Pikachu sitting in the middle right now with a with a wheel wheel wreck. <laughs> That's a uh, little bit of a tongue twister name. Uh, they're sitting at a one uh, one win on their series and a one one, whereas Wheel Wreck is sitting at a uh, a tie and a loss. So Wheel Wreck is just going to be a little bit below them. If Black Sheep uh, can in fact uh, come in uh, with a win over in this game against Runes, they'll be able to tie it up uh, with Blue Pikachu and knock Runes down with them. Uh, having a different type of three-way tie down there. Uh, Bermudan Frogs, uh, they have one loss and one draw. Uh, Pretty Boy Swag, uh, unfortunately, they'll be sitting at the bottom of the brackets with their 0-2 series. And it does look like that the players are ready, and we are now actually moving over into the drafting phase. What a transition. <laughs> yeah, right? Good timing, Pocket. Yeah, absolutely. Almost like we planned exactly that to happen absolutely totally planned not scripted yeah. at no. all this is not pre-recorded <laughs> wait what <laughs> i was gonna say proper league communication but that works too <laughs> thanks for just giving it away pocket jeez no absolutely not it's okay it's not like anybody watches pre-game anyways yeah it's um, fine <laughs> Very quick bans uh, coming out onto both sides. Uh, Wisp going to get banned out by Black Sheep. And Ogre Magoo going to be banned out by Runes. Team Ogre Magi um, getting pretty popular in the offlane I've seen recently. It's uh, yeah, kind he's of taken... a good, good hero. Good four as well. Yeah, it's uh, kind of taken to a, a pretty interesting surgence. Uh, Drow Ranger being banned out by Black Sheep. Um Team Runes, uh, uh, in their first series game, uh, they did use against Blue Pikachu, um, and they took a pretty quick fashion game because of it. Five so, seconds remaining. Um, I can completely understand why uh, they would want to ban it out, because the last thing that you want to do in this meta at this point is just get, get completely drow stratted. Yeah, that's like, that's the one spooky thing, dude. Yeah. Um, Silencer, pretty meta ban. So Radiant yeah, global silence is pretty strong. And speaking of meta bans, a winter wyvern getting banned out as well. Th that is a mean position five. Like I am sorry, the the very few times where you actually do see winter wyvern sneak through into the draft through the drafting phase, and she just absolutely tears up the lane, tears up the mid game, and makes any type of melee core feel really bad about their choice and their decisions. <laughs> Five That's at least how remaining. it feels a bit for me, but yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wyvern, wyvern is like it's the 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 the, the maneuverability on top of an insanely good heal that negates all physical damage on top of a giant AOE controly fight that pretty much stuns everyone, acts as like a sleep, 
Right. I could also potentially kill someone. Yeah. As well as a pretty good nuke. And Runes will be finishing out the first ban phase with a ban onto Lich. A I haven't seen Lich too much uh, in these games. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but Lich is actually is also a pretty good strong position five support. Um, yeah. Bane is gonna get picked up. Um, Bane today I don't think Radio Bane has uh, had too good of a track record as of today at least. <laughs> From no, what I've uh, seen in the earlier cast. <laughs> hasn't so much, but runes. Ooh, boy, I like both of those heroes. Oh, man. Runes coming out very, very strong with these first two picks. Picking up both Necrophos and Nyx Assassin. Two very strong heroes. Into pretty much every stage of the game, I feel. they Those two heroes are very yeah. strong. Five seconds remaining. So... This will be a pretty interesting game. The smarter you get, the stronger Nyx gets, man. And for a good portion of this, uh, good portion of the game, Bane's going to be Nyx's food. Yeah. If it's played properly. Yeah, that, uh, that typically happens. <laughs> When uh, whenever you got some squishy uh, squishy supports, Mirana. squishy uh, position fives, Murano's gonna get picked up by Black Sheep. So mm. hopefully we should see a, a couple of good arrows. That's interesting because Nyx is really good against Murano. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Just because Murano's pretty squishy. Yeah, and she's. Yeah, Vendetta's Five good. You know, Vendetta remaining. into Impale. She jumps in a straight line, and Nyx Assassin Impale goes in a straight line as well. What a yeah. uh, what a rather a quinky dink there that we have. And not to yeah. mention Reaper Scythe as well. Um, it doesn't matter how far you jump. I mean, that Reaper Scythe is still going to lock you down and bring you over to Death's Gate. And so you can't jump usually in Reaper No. No, not at all. <laughs> well, well, I mean, then again, I mean, can can you die? Can you jump when you're dead? Oh. That's a deep question, Pocket. Yep. Brood that's, a, that's definitely a non-conclusive, uh, non-conclusive <laughs> question. Absolutely. Brood Mama's gonna get banned out by Black Sheep. The last thing that they want to do is face Brood Mother in this situation. Um. Especially with uh, such a deciding factor, Black Sheep, the last thing that they want to do is go 0-2 in their matches. So they're going to try to do everything that they can to make sure that they come out of this these two games very well going into Week 2. Earthshaker and Phantom Lancer are both getting consecutively banned. Earthshaker, very strong hero. Likewise for Phantom Lancer. The last thing that people want to deal with is lots of angry fishermen with their arms and beating the crap out of you let me just exclusively talk about this one pl stat <laughs> <laughs> all right well i mean I, I, I i'm just kind of looking at things right now i mean you got an angry ancient just man with the jokes pocket oh <laughs> oh just ah! possibly 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 just trying to just uh -oh. trying to fill some time here <laughs> Just... So, Rune's now going to dip into a bit of their think tank time. <laughs> yep. That is a term that we use here on this channel. <laughs> I like it, dude. I like it. I like the think tank. That's smart. Yep. I used to know you today. Well, shaggy. I mean, you could just say, you know, you had to deep into your own think tank to, to think about I that. I did. Um, you know, looking at the lanes right now, though, Marana Bane already looking really strong. Um, a really strong lane. Uh, Crystal Maiden, Crystal Maiden going to get picked up. A very strong support for the longest time. Why she made it through, really? Crystal Maiden. Although, you know what? Yeah. I know. I'm surprised that Crystal Maiden made it through. She's well, She's been popular, but she hasn't been a must pick, though, as she was before recently. That's true. Um, Like, I remember it was just practically a couple months ago where Radio you would see her in every game and a punch! The Butcher is That's in exciting. the game. 
Um, as if we didn't have arrows alone to yell and lose our minds about, we have hooks as well. Um, good setup for hooks as well with arrow as well. Oh yeah, no, like if you can get a good air, like nightmare into arrow, into a hook, into just eating a good lunch. And let's talk about it. Eating a good lunch. <laughs> Not, not not dismember. Now. Not dismember, but literally just eating eating a hearty lunch. Yeah. Being healthy and just, just... Yeah. Well no, yeah. Here's the crazy thing though. Okay. Okay. Gamers uh, often fall into a scenario where they forget about meals, they forget about basic things. And that is an important thing though. Don't forget to eat. Don't forget to get a good night's sleep, especially when you're playing a very impactful game of Dota in a very important league such as the NADCL. You and... heard it here first, boys, <laughs> boys and girls. Don't forget to eat your lunch. Yeah, don't forget to eat Pack your lunch. veggies. Just eat your lunch. No, go keto. Don't eat any veggies. Don't eat any carbs. Just eat meat. It's the new that's fad. What, it's the new that's fad. What's Fruity's doing? <laughs> hey, you know though. I mean, it's it's not. It's not bad. I mean, I, I've done it before, remaining. but go on to restrictive diets on your own risk, please. It, exactly. It, um, uh, pocket socks, crasheroni, and the rush pit does not condone any. <laughs> well, that does not condone. We we do not affiliate <laughs> we, with any type of diets. And... <laughs> any type of weird ass diets. Uh. We are not health professionals here. <laughs> no. But anyways, um, Dragonite though, uh, gonna be picked up though for Team Runes. Um, either gonna be for, and see, this is a pretty, looking at the flexibility, you know, you have Necrophos, he could be safe lane, off lane, mid, Dragon Knight, off lane, mid lane, but a Terra Blade <laughs> is gonna get picked up for Black Sheep. That's a deny pick. Yeah. That's definitely a deny pick. Yeah. So All right. Gonna be rather interesting. Yeah. TV's one of those carries that you pick, and uh, he's one of the, what, like, three, four meta carries that are really, but really at the strong and really so, meta? Okay, so here's remaining. the thing, okay? You have TB saying is, he is a very strong carry, but look at all the other carries, though, that haven't been banned yet. Weaver hasn't been banned. Too uh, squishy. Okay, Weaver's too squishy, yes, but time lapse? <laughs> oh, no. You can't time lapse if you're... Nightmare into arrowed into hook dismembered. <laughs> well, Black King Bar is possibly an item that could save people. Well, I was going to say Tiny could be a carry as well, but Tiny is now banned. Um, <laughs> so, okay then. This is going to be pretty interesting then. Um, so, I mean, Spectre is still in the game. I mean, Spectre is still in the pool, but TB kind of... Uh... Yeah. Uh, see... Spectre's still good, you just don't build Radiance. Okay. Spectre's still fantastic. I mean, look, then we also have CK, we have Ursa. Um, Five seconds remaining. Drow's gone. Um, Terra Blade. Oh. Uh, no. I, uh, I don't think there's gonna be, there's not gonna be an Ursa with, uh, the kite. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is very true. Runes do have end all pick. Black Sheep, they're going to have to pick up their mid here. Um, they banned out Batrider. They preferably need something like kind of kind of mid Five midfield. They want something that can be sort of tanky, but also set up here with their Terra Blade and Pudge and do consistent damage to the other team fight. Yeah. Well, they can protect the Moran in the back as well. Yeah. Uh, I would say Storm if there was no Nyx Maiden. But uh, that negates that pretty much, as well as as well as Necro. You know, Necro counters Storm pretty heavily. Right. Um, team pick. But okay, they're gonna pick Brewmaster. I have okay, so I will start off in saying this. Um, the during the open qualifiers when I did watch Black Sheep play, um, Bloody Nine did play a mid brew and against the Storm Spirit. I want to say I can't remember. And he absolutely decimated that lane as Brewmaster. Trust. And yeah, Brew, Brew's, Brew's um pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, and it, it 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 took uh, it took Shaggy and me by a very big surprise. Uh, we did not expect it at all. So 
going to be pretty interested actually to see how this works out for them. So, but at the same time though, if you're Team Black Sheep though, it's this is going to be really weird, funky lanes. I feel. Um, I mean. Uh yeah, but, yeah. like it's going to have to be. Uh, yeah. Weaver. And the Weaver. No, Look I what I said. Like it. I, I don't call, like it. I called the Weaver. That, okay, you know, know. no, no, that's I'll a point for that. me. That's a point for me. I take the lead now. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. God, we're just pointing everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. No, I'll give you. I'll. I'll give you that. Okay, Pudge, hello? He's not even looking at me. <laughs> what happened? I mean, I, is, he, I mean, is he slightly I'm, turned for you? Uh, he is slightly turned, and I feel okay. like that's just partially just due to the fact that we kind of disrespected him a little bit. I mean, slightly. Um, I, mean, I don't know, man. Only a little bit. It does look like it is going to be a offlane Necrophos, though, um, with um, mid-DK. Uh, looking at the lineups right now, we're going to have old Yoda on... He's going to be on your Bane. Monster will be on Mirana. Riding Sagan. It's just so I can remember. <laughs> uh, we'll have a Pudge. Kenny is going to be on your Terror Blade. And Bloody Nine, as I've seen before, is going to be on your Brewmaster. Monkeys Forever is going to be playing your ne Necrophos. Liz Boris, the god, support, sacrificing himself in very Titanic fashion, is going to be on your Nyx Assassin. JC Moon is going to be playing your Crystal Maiden today, and Annihilate will be on Dragonite. BSJ will be on the Weaver pick that was unexpected by Crash. I don't know, man. I don't like the Weaver. It's gonna. It's it's it can either be so good or so bad. Yeah. Like Weaver is so elusive, but at the same time, if you get him. Um, that is so much lockdown and so much just instant burst. I mean, Crash, it's almost as if the Weaver has a 50-50 chance of winning. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Monkeys Forever. Thank you. Just what I've been waiting. You either win or you lose. Yeah. That's that's 50-50. There's no time. Yeah. Yeah. Already, so the, the, yeah. <laughs> already the, the tips are starting as well. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. So, um, the CM has four mangoes. I mean, you need to eat your fruit later. I mean, oh eating your God. fruit is very important. Okay. Eating your fruit is very important. You need to stay healthy, get your vitamins. Um, Pudge is going to be laning with Marana. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah. So that's how, that's what it had to be. Pudge can't, Pudge can't lane support. Seconds. Yeah. I mean, you could say this lane will literally be, literally be a hit or a miss lane. Um, no pun intended. I quit. <laughs> I'm leaving. That's too many. Too many dad jokes. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. I can't turn it off. I know. <laughs> and interestingly enough as well, Bloody Nine going for only getting one tango out of the supports. Um, Pudge looking for a hook. Oh, he barely misses out on BSJ. So, just a little bit. Liz Boris actually able to steal out that bounty rune as well and doing a little dance with old Yoda. I mean, Yoda's kind of <laughs> standing, twirling around, and Liz Boris, he's, he's trying to go digging in for some gold into the ground, but it doesn't look like it. Um, oh, there's water there. Pudge yeah. coming in. Very aggressive move. Gonna get hit by that Crystal Nova. BSJ moving forward. Pudge sitting at a little, about half health now. No rod or anything. It's slow. Just He's gonna look in. for a hook Face on first the with the hook. Getting a hook. Oh, straight on there into the CM. Is. Into the arrow. JC F Moon not feeling good at all as First Thanks Blood is gonna get taken That's by Team nice. Black Sheep. So, I don't know, Pocket. I'd call this one a hit. Oh, well, it, it sounds like it could be a pretty good hit, depending no, on how was, his positioning is. Punch. Definitely two hits. Uh, okay, two hits, <laughs> yes. Two hits, no misses right now in the bottom lane. <laughs> and... Pudge already. He's just going for a lot of cheeky positioning right now. Um, he's. You he can't hook BSJ though. No, he's you, gotta, you he's can't go for the hook on BSJ. Uh, gonna go into lane. Gonna be face tanking a, a lot of damage damn. actually. Without any rot, he has no possibilities of being able to s oh. deny himself. The hook goes out as well as the arrow. They connect on two different targets. Not able to lock down or kill anybody. 
and as a result, Pudge will be dying and paying for his sins. BSJ going to be moving forward with the Sakuchi. Uh, not going to be able to chase down the Marana. Pudge is going to TP back in. So, a little bit of a good amount of action over into the bottom lane. Old Yoda taking a bit of damage, a little bit of harassment. But does look like that he might be able to uh, just brain sap himself back up to a good amount of health. BSJ scooching all the way over to the rune area just to pick up, just to get himself up a bottle. So, rather interesting. Give himself a good amount of regen while in lane to kind of just support himself. See, I'm going for that lane pull. Um, you know, looking at these lanes right now, um, you know, B9, he's doing pretty good in the mid lane, doing. You know, he has about a good, good, fair handful amount of last hits over Annihilate, so he's doing pretty good. Pudge, he knows, they know about this, uh, they know about the creep pull. They're trying to see what they can do to position themselves. The CM has spotted out the Pudge, and she's definitely, uh, trying to make some space between her and the Pudge. Try to see if she can get the creeps in between them. Uh, not wanting to get hooked once again. Um, you know, looking at the laning stage though crash i feel like uh team runes is definitely doing fairly well uh they are a lot more balanced in the amount of last hits that they have across their team as opposed to team black sheep where all the last hits are going into uh, b9 uh, how do you feel about that well oh the hook um yeah i think i think you pretty much hit on the nose there another thing to consider um the regen so just from a basic regen standpoint uh, Weaver is out of regen, DK out of regen, that doesn't really matter. Um, top lane, Bane is out of regen, and Terrorblade has now only a salve compared to the four tangos in salve and Q on Necro. Going the sal or the, deep the tango on behind the tower though. That's a Next, very yeah. bold move. Boris taking a couple of tower shots right now, but old oh, Yoda, though, he is dropping pretty low. That brain sap is going to bring him back up to a decent amount of health, though. Uh, BSJ did end up taking down the Murata over to the bot lane. Ooh, the hook does look like it did go out onto, onto BSJ, the TP into Murata. BSJ... He's maybe one more hit until Pudge goes down, but oh. no, the arrow from Monster is going to be able to secure that kill. Very well done from Monster. Meanwhile, over into the mid lane, it does look like B9 is going to get harassed a little bit with that Dragon's Breath. Going back up into the top lane. Oh, Wander, he's taking a lot of damage. Going to have to salve up old Yoda. Not sitting too healthy himself while Kenny is sitting in that metamorphosis form. That was a very, uh, very high... Uh, High intense minute there with a lot of fights going on in all three <laughs> lanes, actually. No, yeah. In all three lanes, actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in, in the mid lane, uh, there was a bit of fighting and TP out with a double damage rune, Crystal Maiden. Are they going to uh -oh. be able to catch him? The Crystal Nova just barely able to tag B9. He's going to be moving over into the bottom rune area, trying to see what he can do. The shrines are going to be activating very soon. Monster Whoa. positioning himself very well to pick up this bounty rune. And BSJ trying to scooch himself forward, but it doesn't look like he's going to go for that rune. Um, Kenny being forced to do a lot of last hitting under tower. Um, while old o Wander, I mean, he's keeping the pressure on very heavily. Um, that, that passive from Death Pulse is really giving him a lot of regen to sustain. I mean, yeah, and he's, he's top of the net worth right now as well. Yeah, that's it's definitely uh, feels good for team runes right now that knowing that they're able to take pretty good control over into the top lane the mid lane is pretty even uh if i would like to say um as it does look like annihilate has balanced out the last hit count a little bit better and the bottom lane is heavily contested right now between uh oh BSJ meanwhile and pudge mid body blocks are there the hook but the wand though might be enough to keep him alive nix the double stun now and I like going to salve up, come right back in, Pudgy's one hit from dead. He's just gonna deny himself. Able to deny himself. Uh, Bloody Nine actually b making enough time with that thunderclap with the slow onto Boris. Gonna be able to save him out. 
Um, looking at the top lane, back up at the top lane, it does look like that there's still a good amount of pressure onto there. Pudge is going to be TPing in, and Boris just gets hooked out of nowhere out from the trees. Completely unexpected, and it does look like that we do have B9. He has this haste rune. They want to go in. Out comes the thunder. Out comes the thunderclap. Here comes the primal split. BSJ is going to be TPing in. Is it going to be enough? Pudge taking a ridiculous amount of damage. Actually, BSJ oh, gets completely cycloned up. They take down Annihilate. Pudge will be able to deny himself as well. Boris is shaking his head right now. But at the same time, BSJ will be able to pick up a kill for his efforts. Old Yoda taking a lot of damage right now from Old Wander. JC Moon was in a bit of a nightmare. Kenny trying to do his best to catch up on the last account. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Um, old Yoda actually he might be going down to this death pulse, but no the nightmare actually big enough to save him and Boris missing that impale That's uh rather unfortunate. He, everybody's shaking their head now Yeah, he's definitely not gonna be liking that one He's not gonna like that one at all moonlight shadow on this pudge moving over towards the top lane He is gonna be get, he is gonna get spotted as it does end a little bit prematurely as a lot of pressure onto this top tower. It's sitting at about half health right now. So, I mean, you can tell that Runes definitely wants to try to see what they can do to get this first tower secure. Oh, and the, and the hook, hook on the CM! Yep. Oh. Those tower shots is just doing a ridiculous amount of damage to her. Um, she's, you know, she needs Tranquil Boots, she needs Regen, she needs something. I mean... She, she needs Boots. She needs Boots. She doesn't need any more mangoes. She's healthy enough. She's had her fill. Oh. So. And it, you know, Kenny going into the jungle now. Um, he's getting her. He's getting harassed way too much by this yeah. Nemesis, and it's getting very difficult for him. The nightmare is gonna come out. Maybe a hook to follow. There is no dismember on the punch though. No hook just yet. He's just gonna rot him out. There comes the hook, and oh wonder. He's trying to do what he can, but Pudge needs to be a little bit more careful though, as Boris comes out with a very nice double impale. Out comes the stun from CM, and they're gonna be able to turn that fight around and pick up a very nice double kill. Monkey's happy with that trade, and look at that. He's Necro bounce you. Full health, full man. I am a balanced hero. Necro is gonna go for a veil. Pally's already. Meanwhile, mid, mid encounter between Annihilate and B9. Does look like a smoke was used by Pudge over in the corner. Is he gonna be able to get a good hook and to try to get a, get his support over for the mid lane? It does look like that there is gonna be a stun. Out comes the hook with the thunderclap. Here comes the primal split and annihilate. He is not happy with this situation right now. He's trying to do what he can to run away. BSJ is gonna TP move. in. I think we've seen this situation happen before. We've been in this scenario. BSJ gonna get. Moved up into oh, the cycle, but no! The hook, it's gonna get missed, and as a result, there is gonna be a stun coming out. Annihilate is gonna go down. Boris is gonna rotate over. Oh, out comes the impale, stun, and out comes Monster. He's gonna try to see what he can do to turn this fight around. Boris in the vendetta. He's trying to see if he can get that hit onto B9, but no! The magic stick, it might be able to save him. And Annihilate, he he's might be wait. able to he's get this wait. kill. He's waiting for it, but no, they know about it. The Just the random thunderclap. It's gonna take Boris down to a very critical amount of health, and... He's just gonna sit around and not be able to do anything. Oh, Wonder was I mean, monkeys forever. He was able to to pick up that uh, tier one tower after all that time and effort. So that is pretty good. Monster though, getting hit by that impale, followed up by a dragon's tail. He might get taken down, but no, it's not gonna be enough. Nowhere near enough damage. Yeah. Not enough damage. Uh, B9 does have a Invis rune uh, held up into that bottle as Monkey's Forever. He's going to start going over and put some pressure onto this top lane tier 2. He's um, just been left alone. Yeah, this is uh, definitely not I think this is the dead good. lane. Yeah. <laughs> you could say that this is a bit of a dead lane. 
Um, you know, Black Sheep, they need to be a little bit careful as Monkeys oh. Forever, he's already picked up a Veil of Discord, and they are responding in a pretty rapid fashion. Here comes the Fiend Script, the Thunderclap, and Monkeys Forever, he's gonna get taken down oh. in just a moment. Um, he's trying to do whatever he can to stay alive. Metamorphosis is gonna get popped. Are they gonna no be able to catch way. up to him? It doesn't look like it might be enough. Out oh. comes the primal split. <laughs> Here comes the rock. BSJ was able to pick up monster and Annihilate was able to also pick up that mid tier one tower. Uh, oh, JC Moon water. will be taken down, but oh! BSJ and Boris together, they're actually able to take down the Pudge, and they just might be able to take down this tier one bottom tower as well. So a lot of space being created for action onto Team Runes during that entire encounter. Um, Annihilate was able to take down uh, the tier one tower bottom lane, and BSJ was able to pick up a very nice double kill. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the amount of time it took for them to kill the Necro, that's, that's so much space for everywhere else on the map. Yeah. Yep. Ult's gonna get popped, and they're gonna head their way bottom now. Pudge, he's invis, got this member, he can look for the hook. Just waiting, the arrow's gonna get missed, but that hook's not gonna miss, though! And Annihilate, though, he's not happy with that scenario as we have Monster, he's gonna be leaping in. Boris is gonna get Nightmared into position. Cardi the cart will be able to at least take down the tower for all the efforts and boris is going to be able to sneak away with that vendetta bsj though sitting in the weights though near the rune he's going to be able to spot that pudge and they're going to try to see what they can do to kind of give the good old reach around they're going to be moving around from the flank here comes the sakuchi forward monster knows he is in danger here comes the swarm here comes the pudge are they going to be able to do anything about it boris he's going to eat that oh, mango but oh punch going for the dismember onto bsj gonna hold him into place but jc moon with the crazy field though gonna be able to clean it up and turn around bsj taking down old yoda found in the trees doing something he probably shouldn't be just being a uh, dirty dirty spectator as the crystal maiden that. lets it go in the perfect position there okay elsa Lots of freezing field damage. Yep, BSJ going on to Kenny, trying to put some damage out, but doesn't look like it's going to be enough. And he is going to TP out because he knows he is not going to be able to fight BSJ in that dangerous situation. No, uh, CP's come out bottom though. Yeah. And no, there's a. That no. fight actually, uh, BSJ Nightmare took a shot. Nightmare coming out. Arrow will fly onto Boris. Here comes the primal split. JC Moon under a lot of pressure. Fiend's group onto Monkeys Forever. It is going to get canceled though by Boris. Out comes the Reaper Scythe. Monster is going to get taken down. And they're trying to see what they can do to take down Monkeys Forever. But it doesn't look like it just is enough. They're trying to do what they can. He's juking, bobbing, and weaving. Here comes another nightmare. Boris, he is going to try to save him with that impale. But old Yoda with that brain set. But it does look like that they are going to be able to clean it up. And Boris is going to fall as well. BSJ going to cut his losses and he is going to turn around. It does look like Annihilate. He tried to get into the fight, but it could have just been a little bit too little too late as uh, he is going to be backing up towards that tier one tower, which is soon going to be pressured by Team Black Sheep. They're moving forward. They're going to take this advantage right now. Boris and Monkeys Forever, they are going to be back up. Will, they, will we see some TPs? BSJ coming in from the back lines, trying to see what he can do to sneak around. He might be able to spot old Yoda, but no, the tree does look like it blocked the way just a little bit. Moonlight Shadow going to be used, and Black Sheep, they are going to be moving away from a pretty uh, bad situation, as it does look like Team Runes did fully ro rotate over. We are going to see a race, though, for Boris and B9 for this for that bounty oh. rune, but it does look like Boris a little too quick on his feet. Oh. It does turn out having six legs is better than having two for speed. Really? Yes. Yes, indeed. Holy moly. Boris is going to go for the good old meme ear hammer. Yep. BSJ getting on. hooked! Wall invisible! Into a dismember, and down he goes without even a chance to respond! Meanwhile, though, Annihilate and JC Moon, they might be able to pick up a counter kill onto your old Yoda. He's gonna try to deny himself, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. Boris, he's gonna spot out B9. They might be moving over towards him. It is gonna be a little bit of a bait. He's um, got no mana, though. Nope. No mana at all. JC Moon gonna go for the denial of vision, killing those wards out. Arrow. Ooh, this is looking pretty good indeed. Bottom tier two tower is getting pushed down. 
This, you know, with the speed that Team Maroons is operating at, it feels like it's a drow strat, but it's not. Look at this. 16 minutes in, five towers down for Black Sheep. You know, you feel like it's a drow strat, but it's not. There's no drow. This is just sheer, they just, they just sheer have a aggression. It's just sheer aggression with this DK and B9. He tried to TP into the bottom shrine, but it looks like it was a complete mistake. Try to primal split out of that, but that Reaper Scythe says no. Time to go see Hades down in the depths of hell. Top tower is under attack. And this mid tier two is uh it's soon gonna it's soon gonna follow in suit of uh, his brother top and sister bottom tier two towers it gets dropped down fairly quickly in the same elder dragon form and knock knock who is it runes they're gonna start getting ready to move over into the high ground now um looking at the net worth chart runes is very happy right now with all three of their cores sit at the very top and they're gonna start going over for roshan it is gonna get scanned out though by team black sheep they are gonna go for smoke and the illusion is gonna reveal over into the mid lane moonlight shadow is gonna get used and they might spot it out they do realize it but it could be too little too late uh, dust is gonna get used a hook on to annihilate he's gonna be trapped into the middle of this conflict it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough damage to kill him as monster is sitting up onto the high ground feeds grip is gonna get used however boris is gonna get a pretty good stun though into a dismember though onto monkeys forever he's gonna get moved up though with the cyclone and down goes jc moon though monkeys forever though on a killing spree he is gonna be able to take down the punch and b9 he's gonna have to move away as boris Forever is going to be able to get a good stun on a Kenny. The lockdown is there. BSJ moving forward. He has a double kill. He wants to go for that triple kill. Down he goes. Annihilate is going to be able to pick him off. And B9, he's running for his life now. He is going to be able to get that blink away. But a 9k gold lead and a phenomenal team fight, though. Looking for team runes, taking four for nothing. Boris, a little bit too aggressive. No, he's going to be they TP. Lost the CM. They lost the CM. I said four for one. Oh, I heard four for none. I'm sorry. My apologies. Four for one. My apologies. But I mean, you cannot be, you, you cannot be uh, disappointed though by that performance. Hook is gonna fly out. Not gonna be able to connect. And BSJ will be picking up that Aegis. And if they venture a little bit further south, there is gonna be a double damage rune. Yeah, and that's where they're gonna BSJ. head. BSJ. This bottle as well, it's gonna get bottled up and the high grounds right now. I feel like this is, I mean, I feel like Team Runes needs to be a pizza company at this point because they're at your front door in 20 minutes or less. The illusion is, is gonna get, uh, the illusion's gonna get uh, pinged out, but it's gonna go down, but oh, oh the aggressive arrow. blink, gonna get met with the arrow, gonna get met with the hook into a dismember he is going to be able to get saved just for a millisecond as that starfall is going to be able to connect and b9 with the aggressive blink not enough mana trying to oh magic stick God. in for the primal but now he gets taken down by the chris by the freezing field punch right now try to deny himself bsj will be able to take him out and the assault continues onto the mid high ground Yoda, and geez. oh my goodness yoda taking a little bit of lightning damage and yeah. Also, Pocket, I'd like to get a point because sometime during this game, Weaver was hooked and dismembered to his death. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, this is uh, looking rather, rather dire situation. For... Really, I think it's pretty radiant for runes. <laughs> This is also true, this is pretty radiant. Monster is gonna get taken down fairly quickly. Boris is gonna get hooked, but it looks like he is gonna be able to get away with it. Oh, trying to save himself with that nightmare, but it's not gonna work as Boris is gonna be able to secure that kill with that impale, but oh, monkeys forever. Gonna get hooked in, but the Reaper Scythe is gonna take down B9, but oh, that Meteor Hammer. It's gonna completely deny any action though. From B9 after that buyback. Boris! Feel bad. Boris just oh, Boris. <laughs> making a lot of space for Team Runes. He's gonna buy back, and this tier 3 tower is sitting at very low health. BSJ oh, sitting BSJ at rather low health. 
Annihilate gonna get sundered and BSJ, he's gonna get dismembered. Luckily for him, he does have the <laughs> what a hook! Oh! What a hook on a monkey's forever! That is not what he was expecting. Fiend script oh, is gonna get used on a BSJ, and BSJ will be taken down finally. Killing spree has ended, but Boris! Oh my goodness! With the impale meteor hammer combo, he's gonna be able to take down Terra Blade as well. Buyback is available, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be needed. Monkeys Forever, met last man standing for Team Runes, and he's gonna get locked down and killed. So, Team Runes has to feel very happy with that performance. Um, they did a significant amount of damage over onto the top lane to the tier three tower. They took down the mid frax and they are still maintaining a very strong 9k gold lead. Um, yeah, 9k gold in DK, looking towards a BKB now for his next item. And I think B is gonna look towards the Lincolns, exactly what it is. He needs something to interrupt these uh, these ultimates that are locking them down pretty heavily. Fiend script, dismember, you can't cast them. Well, if you cast them both on the same person, they're kind of, uh, you know, losing the, losing it there. They're losing the utility of that. CM does have a drums. Has no new item queued up, just a bunch of wards. And that's all she needs. <laughs> Meanwhile, a gank is being done on BSJ. Pudged, they see where he went. Got that Sakuchi, so... Pretty tough to catch up to him. That's exactly what happens. Oh, my shadow is gonna get used. Not gonna be able to pick up anything about it in B9. He's gonna get caught out once again. It's in mid lane. He just tries to see what he can do to get back over with his team, but it doesn't look like it will be successful. Um, but the rest of Team Black Sheep, though, they're gonna try and see what they can do coming around from the back end. Pudge is gonna be blinking forward, trying to see what he can do, but the rest of Team Runes, they're already here, ready to support, and Pudge is gonna be able to thankfully deny himself. I mean, doesn't mean much. Yeah, it's uh, rather unfortunate. No buybacks available on B9 or onto Pudge, and Annihilate doing a good amount of damage onto these tier fours. Air will fly, will not connect to no, unfortunately. But does, and Team Runes, they're going straight for the win now, actually. They don't yeah. even care about the second set of racks. They see the opportunity, they see the advantage. And Kenny, he's um, gonna get stunned, easy. and down he goes. Arrow, arrow will fly, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough at all. And the GG is gonna get calls by Team Black Sheep. Yeah. And, and just a. Uh, I don't want to call it a stomp, but goddamn, Rune should showing them the paddle on that one. <laughs> Not letting up at all this game. A constant aggression on Runes. Yeah. So, uh, oof, that was just pretty rough for Team Black Sheep. It yeah, looked there were a few points where it looked like something could happen there, but uh, they could never capitalize on it enough. The BSJ got out of control, and just the amount of push that they could do thanks to the Meteor Hammer on Boris on top of a DK, a Necro, and a Weaver, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, um, Terrorblade wasn't able to get enough space to go online. Um, the amount of pressure coming out from Monkeys Forever just, I mean, it was too much for him. He was forced to go into the jungle. He wasn't able to get enough farm to be able to do do too much, which is rather unfortunate. Yeah, but you know these kind of things do happen. Yeah. Um. I mean, and thankfully, it is a best of two. This is still just week one. Yeah. So we do have games two, game two coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So. So just stay tuned, guys. Um, we're going to be taking a quick break while we start getting into the lobby, loading up into the next match. As Team Runes, they are taking the first round in this best of two. Team Black Sheep, hopefully they can do a little bit better um, in this next round and try to tie up this series and do whatever.
whatever they can. Uh, last thing that they would want to do is start off the, the first week off with a 0-4 score. So um, let's hope for Team Black Sheep fans. But stay tuned. We'll be right back. And we are back, Crash. The green with team a is banning the now. Quick, rather quick, quick break. So this will be uh, this will be a uh, rather interesting. Yeah, let's see what Black Sheep learned from game one, and um, yeah, <laughs> see what they can do for this game. Something to keep in mind, Five Runes did remaining. just play a game in the King's Cup against Complexity, like literally just before this, <laughs> so just something to keep in mind is their potential uh, fatigue in these games, um, you know, it's something that makes sure that they want, that, you know, they want these quicker matches, because the, like, if this game goes for an hour, and like, it's 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 different playing a full day of like, Puppy Dota than a full day of like scrims or tournaments because it's a lot like it, it, it's you think of it a lot more mm -hmm. 
And it, it, it is a strain, and it's something that people should keep in mind. Definitely not in the forefront, but just somewhere in the background there. That it's potential that these people can get fatigued. Yep. Five seconds remaining. Radiant um, team banned. But, I mean, at the same time, Dire team I mean, banned. fatigue is a Radiant big team thing. Banned. But these are amateur players that are aspiring to be semi-pro and actually well no they're definitely already they're they're yeah. semi-pro pro uh, they're semi -pro like a lot of a lot of these teams Radiant have team have player. have made a dent really on the uh on the on the professional scene uh runes just beating out complexity in king's cup for instance Diet team pick. Yep. um starting off with the tree protector so this is going to be rather interesting <laughs> Yeah, so runes do plan to ban out the uh, the bane. Yeah, bane was a uh, bane was a rather interesting. Well, not an interesting. It was a pretty uh, hampering support uh, during that last game. So yeah, and there was a good couple times where Boris did have to turn Five around and shift remaining. his focus over on those impales over to um, over to I believe it was. Dire so team pick. Remember the name. Radiant Yoda. Team. Yoda. And because of that. Look at that. Earthshaker. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Morana and Earthshaker. Black Sheep going to be starting off with a Tree of Protective pick, but Runes respond pretty hastily with a Morana and Earthshaker combo. Earthshaker is. I don't know. Earthshaker for the longest time in this. I, I've heard countless people say, you know, Earthshaker just kind of feels like the hero where, like, you pick him and you win. And I gotta say, like, for the most part, I do agree with that. Like, he's just, he's so strong and so much stuns. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Earthshaker definitely has a lot of stuns, especially once you pick up things like Ags and things like that. I mean, he also has a ridiculous amount of mobility as well. Um, Enchant Totem does a lot of damage yeah, with the stun lock. You can build them many different ways. You can build them for utility. You can build them as a core. Earthshaker all around. It's very flexible. It's very good. Don't talk to me about Crit Shaker. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my kids ever again. It's Black like, Sheep. We have the manly, manliest of men in the game now with Axe. Well, no, BSJ's on Team Runes. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Radiant Team Burn. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> axe, Axe, though. He's... Speaking yeah. of manly men. <laughs> axe. Broodmother, Bad once dude, again, getting banned. Else. Huskar getting banned. So. So this is this uh, this draft phase is going a lot quicker. Actually, it seems like it, yeah. it kind of feels like and now that the teams are a little bit more familiar with each other, they kind of know what Five how each other remaining. play a little bit, testing the waters. Um, it, I mean, it just feels like that. You know, if if, if I had to put put a note or a finger onto it, um, I mean. They feel a little bit more confident going into this drafting phase. But Axe, though, is a very interesting pick. I don't think I've seen an Axe being picked. Oh, we haven't seen Axe in a while, Pocket. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. We have not seen Axe in a, in a very long while. But some some beautiful dunks are clearly in order. Well, yeah, dunks on both sides, actually. You have Earthshaker Fair for Team Roots, and then you have <laughs> Axe for Black Sheep. Yeah. Dire team pick. All right, an invoker. That's a good band. Team pick. And here they're gonna pick up Ember, though. I and I. I and I like gonna be definitely be liking that pick. Yeah. Happy picks for him. Yep. Yes, indeedy. Oh, uh, Phantom Lancer banned as well. Drow also banned. And five also seconds banned. remaining. Um, I just wanna, I just wanna point out how confident Runes must be in this game 
where they have picked an ember into a treant and an axe. Oh, already, man. already two heroes. You really don't want to be against as an ember. <coughs> no, not not confidence level. Yeah, um, pretty darn high. Yeah, it's a very. I mean, this is true. You know, runes. I definitely feel like that they're running off of a running off of a bit of a high. Um, what was the, uh, did runes actually beat complexity? Yep. So yeah, they are just running off of a huge adrenaline rush right now. Like they are feeling really good about themselves. Um, right now, we just have to kind of hope that it doesn't go against them. I mean, we already see a little bit of uh, friendly fire going on as Ember Spirit with his right hand is burning up Earthshaker as well. Oh. Team pick. Literally friendly Thanks. fire. That's funny. <laughs> Maybe we'll see more friendly fire this game on the side of rain as the clinks gets picked up by black sheep. Yeah. A good transition. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we talk about fire and we have the searing archer. I think that's a point for both of us, Pocket. Yeah, that that is. That is. <laughs> <laughs> this, this point system. I feel like we're playing whose lines it anyway. Five points really don't remain. matter. I mean, do the points ever matter, Crash? Do the points ever matter? The points, the points on your driver's license matter. Well, of course, naturally, points on those driver's points license matter. matter. Uh, your KDA and Dota matters. That's all that matters, actually. I mean, it's the only thing that matters. I think is what you're trying to say. It is. It's the absolute only thing that matters. I mean, honestly, the driver's license doesn't even matter anymore because you can Uber everywhere, and you don't need to drive if you play. Dota. Well, and if you play Dota, you don't need to leave your house, and exactly. you don't need a car if you don't leave your house. Yep. Very true. Once again, though, Pocket Socks and Crash, as well as everyone at the Roche, do not um, condone any sort of hermitism or um, <laughs> weird dietary, weird dietary restrictions. Um, we are please, not health professionals. We are not please, driving professionals. We are please not professionals stay safe, of any everyone. Kind. Please stay safe. Um, um. Yeah. We don't condone anything except for Dota at this point. Um, the only thing that we can say... But, but you no, know what I condone more than Dota, Pocket? What is that? NA Dota. Team NA Dota, absolutely. That is fine. It's in the Lich going to be picked. Pocket, turn yourself up. I need to turn myself up. Yep, can barely hear you. I moved further away from the mic. This is from Shaggy, not from me. All right, all right, all right. All right. So let's gonna get picked up to kind of quell some of that friendly fire. There. Need a little frost for that fire, buddy. Holy moly! What did we just join an uh, oh, ASMR <laughs> stream? Pocket, don't ever do that again, please. No. I couldn't imagine you screaming that close to your mic. Oh no, absolutely not! I would not kill the ears of everybody watching. No, that would. No, I'm not a sadistic being. I am not a sadistic being. So away from your personal life, let's look for Black Sheep's fourth oh, pick as they cut into a lot of reserve time. Nine seconds after to pick up the uh, tiny. tiny. You know, could you just imagine if at one point in time, Tiny could just grab Treant? I mean, he is a tree. And See, toss Treant? That would... Here's... But, 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 pocket, pocket, pocket. Step back for a second. He can already toss Treant. No, toss him... No, okay, no, think about it. Like, he imagine... was able to toss a tree in the imagine... whole time. No, Crash, imagine a scenario where you toss an axe. The axe can't get the connect. And then Tiny just goes and rips tree straight off of his roots on the ground and then just tosses him as well with his third ability. <laughs> That's all I'm That's saying. Disgusting. That that I don't even like the sound of that. That's that sounds like Dota couldn't handle that. I don't think Dota can handle that amount of like insanity. like logically. If you make that sort of interaction, you would have to make Treant Five instantly die remaining. against the Timbersaw. <laughs> this is Treant also team. true. <laughs> or be eaten by a Tango. Oh God. <laughs> or be killed with a Quelling play. <laughs> <laughs> Treant could easily be the worst hero in Dota. Yeah. Next, next patch, next for the big update, where they're going to give heroes types. <laughs> and um, it, it's, it's going to turn into Pokemon. Um, 
We, we you load into a game, you assemble your team of five. It's now Dota's now a single remaining. game. Yeah. Um, team pick. Totally changed. And wh whoa, hold on, what? Necro was left in the pool <laughs> for that long. That's uh rather interesting, actually. Necrophos being left as a last pick. Um, especially when you look at the bands that went out, none of the bands even touched on it. Um, you have Phantom Lancer ban, Wraith King ban. Sorry, are you, say, are you saying that because the Necro was picked, no bands were on Five the Necro? Five seconds remaining. Point crash. <laughs> <laughs> and Team Rune's gonna be finishing up their draft Yay! with the Matt Rider. Now, jeez. Pick That's gonna hero. be fun. Yeah. A BSJ Marana and a monkey's bat. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. He's even on your favorite snow owl too, Crash. Yeah, that honestly, I love that owl, dude. Vern. I think his name is Verna. Yeah. Or Vern. I'm not sure. I like the name Vern a lot better. <laughs> so we are gonna have Yoda is gonna be on your trio protector. A monster is gonna be playing your axe. B9 is gonna be playing the Clink's mid. Dion is gonna be on your tiny. Kenny will be on Necrophos. BSJ, as you said, on the Marana. Liz Boris on the Earthshaker. I annihilate on his Ember Spirit. Jube will be on the Lich, and Monkeys Forever will be on your Bat Rider. So, this is looking to be a very aggressive, explosive game, I feel. Just like how Yeah, Rune's and I think was. Rune's 2-0. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to side with you on this. Um, um, I think that the Murata should be pretty fine. With um, because she'll be standing like like just orientation and fight wise. If they get initiated on by the axe, she should be just tanky enough if Clink's is right on top of her. That's um, what I was thinking as well. Is this, this is really dependent on Monster and Yoda's positioning and how they'll be able to impact these team fights with the Berserker's Call and um, and a taunt and uh. That was late. Berserker's call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, over, the overgrunt and <laughs> Berserker's call. Why did I second guess myself, you Crash? I don't know. But, yeah, and I mean, um, <laughs> Necro is going to be in the safe lane. Yeah, safe lane, it's, Necro. It's a, support, like, it's a support tiny. Position four tiny? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how, how I, I feel, feel about that. Yeah. And then, I don't know. Clink seems very squishy into a into an Ember, Marana, Batter, Shaker, as well as, all, like, everyone's going to be extra tanky thanks to Lich's Ice Armor. Uh, you know. I mean, and not to mention, There's... if it, if the game goes, goes down late enough, I mean, all the way over to level 25s, I mean, it'll also come to the point to where both sides will be able to heal their towers and buildings as well, so. This is going to be... Yeah. This is going to be really interesting. It's going to be one of those games where you're going to it's going to have to play out a little bit before you really get a feel of it. But just based off of based off of drafts uh, and early impressions though, I mean, I would have to give it Yeah, based off of based off of the snares of not a what if, but uh what 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 should, what can. No, you know what? I'm basing this off of hats right now, off of Dota hats and the spinning capability of Boris and BSJ. And I'm giving them the advantage. <laughs> Monster, though, I mean, he's trying to go for his own spins. Uh, doesn't look like it's good. Annihilate's already in on the spins as well. BSJ's still going for it. Jubei's even in on it. Um, Everyone's spinning. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the tip goes down over to Liz Boris. I do feel like Liz uh, Boris will be able to uh, se easily secure this begins. rune over here. But at the same time, in retrospect, Dion will also be able to secure the rune as well. So both sides able to take the other side's respective safe lane runes. So two runes apiece, and Jubei helping annihilate with this block. Um, after denying that range creep, very well done. Going to be able to help him 
Cloud Annihilate against B9 in this. I'll say it's a little bit of a favorite matchup towards B9. And Annihilate is going to be spinning around as he uh, eats a couple arrows to the face, actually. B9 a little My. bit surprised as to uh, <laughs> how Annihilate just kind of sits there and face takes it or back takes it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Whenever the arrows impact his body, uh, I would say. Um, and Monster already in a very rapid fa fashion, already starting the creep cutting as well. Um, putting Monkeys Forever into a an awkward situation. Oh, there's the second creep where he's got them both now. Finally taking a lot of damage right now, actually trying to searing chains away, but no, it's not going to be enough, and bloody nine, got to be drawing first blood, just shows fire arrows are better than fire swords. I would say that fire arrows are better than fire spirits. Or you, or you could say an ember spirit. Oh. I, you could, but I didn't. <laughs> I see that's a, that's a play on me. Fissure will come out. Getting a double stun. Not a lot to follow up on. Um, Jubei, though, coming out over into the bottom lane. Yeah, I don't know. What, I'm not sure what Jubei's doing. I mean, he's decided it can't be anywhere else. Yeah, um, he tried to do what he could to deal with Monster, but, I mean, I guess he's just a little bit afraid. I mean, I guess ghosts are more of his, uh, ghosts are more of his thing. Sorry, what are we talking about? Monsters and ghosts and childhood terrors, I'm guessing. I don't know. I I'm trying to unpack a lot of things on stream. My All apologies. right, so looking at the top lane, Tiny <laughs> has done a pull, and he is going to get farmed up here by Monk. Monkey's forever. Working on working on doing whatever he can to take that pull. Jubei's going to help secure a kill onto Kenny with a very well-placed fissure. And Monkey's Forever, he's on the hunt right now. On to Dion, but Monster trying to do what he can to save him, but Annihilate's gonna be able to catch him out. Monster, though, with a couple of lucky swings, though, he might be able to take down Annihilate, but no, Annihilate will be able to finish off that kill as he chases him down. So, Annihilate feeling very happy about that. Uh, Tiny was, Dion was able to TP out just in time. Stacks and damage not high enough. So. I am I'm concerned right now. Um, Annihilate taking a lot of damage, one hit away from getting killed. Bloody Nine doing a phenomenal job right now, harassing and arrow. Keeping Annihilate oh, under connects control. on the necro. Starfall. I'm getting less concerned. As I was gonna say, I was just I was just about to make a comment on how I feel like bottom lane for it being a tron lane isn't doing as much as it needs to do. But, uh, just got a kill. They're picking up the another kills. One. You know, just got another one. I think, you know, it's not not as bad. But, Bloody Nine, yeah. Bloody Having his nine. way with High Annihilate mid. I mean, he is, uh, top I mean, the, under I mean, the, guys, the tables guys, guys, have guys, definitely turned this time around. Here. And Bloody Nine is just doing everything he can to get himself off to a very good start in a strong fashion. Yeah. And Yoda actually gonna be pinging out both, this, both of the supports, um, scouting them out, uh, probably reporting that information over to Monkey's Forever so he doesn't find himself in a pretty unfortunate situation getting trapped off. Uh, meanwhile, Monkey's... Wait, I meant to say Kenny. So Kenny doesn't go into a bad situation. Monkey's Forever is in the top lane for Team Runes. He's going to actually be going over towards Monster. Monster already have a good uh, idea of what's going on, but Liz Boar says no as the Fissure comes out. But Monster, though, with the amount of Axe Spins, it isn't going to be enough to take that Monkey's Forever. And down he goes. Dion, though, out with the Avalanche. The Toss, it's not going to be enough as Monkey's Forever. He's going to be able to slowly move away. Boris, all the pressure coming down onto Dion as he's forced to run away. Will it be able to get away? We'll hopefully have to find out. The chase continues. Dion has grabbed a tree and is now proceeding to try to do what he can to man fights. He tosses him over to the range tree and gonna have to run away as a result. Over at the bot, Bounty Rune. The arrow, it will connect onto Yoda. There's not enough vision onto it. Annihilate, try to see what he can to burn with that with that fire play, flame guard, but tower, not enough damage here. Bloody Nine, gonna get yeah. left alone once again in the mid lane. And of course, 
Boris has queued up Ags. Um, naturally. Boris has queued up an Ags, naturally. Um, you, uh, I mean, that's the new build now. You just go brown boots into an Ags. Oh, uh, yeah, I must, I must have missed that. Yeah, I mean, the memo came out a while ago, unfortunately. Oh, um, uh, well. I don't, I don't check my Dota emails. Oh. Um, I thought they disabled that feature. Oh, no, no. It's uh, some for Dota, uh, Dota, Dota Gold now. Dire structures See, on top of Dota Plus, there's now a Dota Gold. Dion's oh, gonna yeah. start to get gone on by Monkeys Forever, but a very oh, good Dyer's toss, though, will be able to save his too. life. Bloody Nine is able to successfully take down that mid tier one tower with a very good use of straight. Um. ESJ doing everything he can to farm pretty safely while under that sentry. He is going to be able to spot out Yoda and going to try to see what he can do to turn the tables. The creep wave is going on to him. Jube is, is coming in, out as well. Arrow did fly, wasn't able to connect though. And Yoda is just going to go back and physical again. BSJ, surprise, surprise, missing Arrow. Radiant's middle is under attack. But. Yeah. You can tell this is this is this is a fun game for runes. This is a game. Yeah, this is a game they're, where you know they're they're, they're, they're pretty happy with their placement. But Liz Boris though, finding the tree and protector though, the turnaround is real as Kenny comes out to help his friend and Jube gonna at least guide his friend Boris back into safety. Forever against Dion. Out comes the Avalanche toss combo. Is there enough sticky napalm stacks though to survive? He should just turn, turn and hit, oh, hit him, but no! <laughs> Monkey Forever will be able to pick up that kill on oh, Dion. I feel like if Dion was to move over and just smack him once, he might have been able to, to get a kill, but. Although, to be like to be fair. The sticky napalm to be fair, stacks to, 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 to start To start, he couldn't turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, top you know, under attack. Yeah. rough stuff. I mean, sticky napalm is, you know, rather sticky. That's usually how that works. Okay. Not able to turn, not able to attack. Bloody Nine uh, going over into enemy territory, trying to see what he can find. Uh, looks like that they are going to try to go for a kill onto Monkey's Forever as he is set a little bit too little too long, unattended to. Out comes the toss and some flaming arrows. It's not going to be enough just yet, but Bloody Nine will be able to secure that kill, though, with the last arrow to the back. B9 is now going to queue up a Desolator. I'm surprised there's been no send, like no more sentries bottom for Yoda. Like I feel like they could just feed off of him if given a chance. Yeah. This is rather interesting. Jube though, he's gonna get scouted out by Bloody Nine, and here they go. Yes, there they go. Back into the tower. Tree is gonna get crowded, but here comes the TP though onto Monkeys Forever. And out comes the sticky napalm, but no, Yoda. here comes Yoda, here comes the tree though, out of nowhere, BSJ, he's gonna go ahead and TP in, the toss goes down, and Bloody Nine will be able to secure that kill, actually, he's gonna get one, not gonna be able to get two yet, BSJ leaps once oh, into a potential no, death, he's gonna be able to leap a second time, but Bloody Nine though, he's out for blood, he smells the blood in the water, here comes the searing arrow, gonna be able to cancel that TP, Jubei was able to TP himself back over into the Fountain of Safety with all that time bought as BSJ valiantly leaped forward and uh, took a lot of arrow hits Dire structures for him. Are fortified. But he lived. So. They're gonna get the T1 as well though, B9. He is sitting top of the net worth at 47. Yeah. Just followed up by Axe at 35. Now Necro by 35. Yeah, this is a complete, this is a complete reverse of what was going on last game. Uh, Black Sheep yep. taking this game in a very aggressive fashion. And they it doesn't look like that the momentum is stopping at all. Um, and, you know, in a similar fashion as well... As unfortunate as it is, Kenny is not having a good lane. 
No, well, I mean, it's what's not new? as bad as what it was before, though. No, um, but I mean, like, what's new? Kenny not having a fun lane, same as last game. Yeah. Um. So Boris has decided, hey, maybe I don't want a uh, <laughs> axe first. He's just casually like 40 gold towards his blink right now. Yeah. 40 gold away from it, rather. There you go. The Sentry Ward is going to be able to spot out Yoda's aggressive positioning and Arrow will fly you out. We'll be able to take the Catapult. At least he can hit that. And Leech Seed will fly out. Trying to see what they can do, but this Catapult, Cardi the Catapult, is going to start the aggression onto this tower. Flame Guard will go up and the Flip will be used to save some damage onto these tower hands. Blinks though, I annihilate. Onto I annihilate. TPs are coming in. B9's already in on the action. Now comes the Reaper Scythe. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough damage. He is going to be able to spear one, remnant two, remnant three. Is it going to be needed? He will TP away and he might just remnant back into the fight once he gets back up nice and healthy. Oh, but Boris but... has Blink Echo and they, they should have no idea. Oh no, absolutely not. Here it comes, the avalanche it did get used, but Yoda is gonna trade his life for it. Here comes the aggression, but Boris with the duck! He's gonna get two! Out comes the Fissure! They might try to turn it around, but it doesn't look like it's enough damage. Out comes the Siri Chains, they're gonna go on to B9. That Sentry Ward, it's not gonna be close enough! There's no dust, there's no more Sentry Wards. They're trying to find B9. The Living Armor, oh, it might, might be able to save him. Chain. Dead! J will be able to get taken down. Liz Boris trying to do everything he can, but no, the avalanche is gonna be able to oh save him! The duck from Monster! He has his Blink Dagger now too! Chasing down Jube, down into the tower. One more TP coming up from Monkey Spoon. Will he be able to save him? But no! Oh, Monster will be able to pick up the kill, but he's going to get Searing changed into his death on the Tier 2 tower. But I'm pretty sure, though, Black Sheep is very happy, though, with that team fight. Losing an axe for almost everybody else on the team of Team Runes. And B9 might even be able to take down Monkeys Forever. He's going to get caught out, but no, the damage might not be enough. Dion is here, though, but that shrine will be able to secure him back up into proper health. Yeah. Dion, hello? Um, okay. getting pretty aggressive. Yeah. Here comes BSJ and Jube. Maybe BSJ can hit an arrow. Annihilate, he's he's going for the chase. <laughs> he's chasing a rather deep, but he did stop though right at the three ways. So. Radiance Middle Tower. Um under Runes attack. definitely wants this bottom tier one tower. I mean this is attempt number two now. They have no glyph this time to use to save Cardi the catapult, so we'll definitely have to see what they pull out this time. As uh Kenny is up towards a uh a bit of a dead lane. Sorry, what? Some say dead lane? <laughs> Everyone summon BSJ! He's already here! Oh. Hey, it worked! Fuck it, we did it! Uh, I mean, I guess so. Your green <laughs> is in your um... Black Sheep doesn't look like that they, uh, that they care anymore about this uh, bottom tier 1 tower. Yoda is gonna get spotted out, though, by Annihilate by this very well-placed uh, Sentry Ward. They spot him out, out it comes, and the arrow will fly, and down he, he hit an comes. arrow! The arrow did connect. Uh, Dion also has his Blink Dagger as well right now. Lots of jumps in this game. <laughs> as, uh, I think the count of Blink Daggers in this game has now gone up to four. What? But... Yeah, Dion actually out with the oh, blink that, combo that, 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 right after Monkey's Forever TP's over to the top lane. Won't be able to claim the life of Jubei though, but at the top lane, BSJ and Monkey's Forever, they were able to secure that kill onto Kenny as that dead lane was dead no longer. You put some CPR, you put some paddles onto it, and it is going to be alive. Sorry, did someone say paddles? Yeah, paddles. Um, Bloody <laughs> Nine did get spotted out by Monkey's Just Forever. Just chilling out. Yeah, stealing the creep right in front of him. Uh, BSJ, though, getting taunted right under the oh. tower, and now goes the dunk! And Monster puts BSJ right into his place, and down he goes. And Go for the taunt. Jube, no! Wrong place at the wrong time! This jungle does not belong to you, my friend! That's definitely a Jubai. And, yeah, Jubei wants Jubai. <laughs>
That's what I. It's literally yeah. what I just said. Yeah, I know, I know. Thanks. I was just putting a little bit more Thanks, emphasis. Fuck it! I'm putting life. Your career goes down. So that that had BS, uh, BSJ's ogre club on it, as well as a couple of wards. Team Rune's not feeling good right now. Seven K gold lead going towards the favor of Team Black Sheep. The unstalking mid now. And Team Runes, like I said, they really want this bottom tier one tower. Um, it is very clear that they have lost the top half of this map. As if you look at just the amount of vision, the amount of focus. Your green dude, that something bad is this happening. is the staircase to heaven, Pocket. That's the staircase to heaven. Oh, I mean, I'd rather be on a staircase to heaven than a uh, high it's, it's also the net worth graph of last game. Yeah, you, you just try to just change the Christmas colors around. Uh, Black Sheep, they are going to be going over to the Roshan Pit. We're going to see what they can do to further push this advantage that they have. And it does not look like Team Runes knows about it at all. And this is definitely going to be a rather big surprise. Interestingly enough, Axe is going for a Maelstrom as well. I saw that. He's, he's what he's getting ready for. He's getting ready for his money where ta uh, tax proc counter here. Yep. Oh, oh, oh my God! There's no Delta split, but the dog turn around. Oh, oh the dog oh. matters not when the. Cl oh, no, 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 you're taking way too much damage. Too. Like for side, gonna be able to claim the kill. Monkey Scrabber, He's got monster in the back lines. Is it gonna be enough? It does look like it is enough. BSJ though, not able to leap away. And this game is nothing like what last one was. Monkeys forever taking some damage. Gonna get chased out, but the Blink Dagger won't be able to save his life. Oh, the fight looked so good in Team Rune's favor, but it just wasn't enough. Structures are fortified. I feel like we've done a complete 180. Yeah, this series, I mean, it just... You know, maybe the Black Sheep, they thought it was a best of three or something. They were trying to just dip their toes in the <laughs> water. And, you know, they were trying to see. They are like, okay, cool. We lost game one. We got their number now. Okay, we're going to just subscribe them to Cat Facts and give them all the catfishers. And now we're just going to get them in now. Yoda oh, and the oh, rest of Boris. Team Black Sheep are going to be able to catch Boris as down he f goes. But up he flies to his own death. Up he flies and what goes up must come down. He goes down and hits hard. Yeah, that is very true. Boris, um, trying, you know, sitting pretty rich actually with 3K gold in his pocket, 3.5K. Uh, curious to see what he's gonna be picking up. Uh, likewise, for, for Dion. Hey, overall, most of the members of uh, Team Black Sheep, they're looking to be a fairly, fairly full. Hey, BSJ now. leveled his alt. Excellent. Oh, it was the longest time, and he had not leveled. They finally, yes. and they finally used it. But as unfortunate as it is, it doesn't look like that they will be able to capitalize on it. And you know what? See, now BSJ is going to think, you know what? I, this is why I don't level my ult. You, you use it, and then you don't go anywhere, and nothing happens. So we probably won't see it level up again until, like, level 15 or something. Right. Smoke, on the other hand, smoke. it is going to get used on Team Black Sheep's side. And this is such a goofy game. Actually, actually, hold on. Looking at things, Team Runes, they did get scanned Radiant out. Scanned, yeah. Yeah, Radiant Scan, so but they they're waiting. know that they're all there. Little do they know. The trap is actually set. The Sentry, the Sentry Ward is going to be able to catch B9. Luckily for him, the Chain Frost. No, it's not enough. Oh, no, you brought it to yes. Kenny. He's, the Aegis will be popped at least, but he almost was able to get out of that unscathed. Um, the trap Monkeys. was setting everything. Monkeys forever gonna get caught by Yoda and the rest of the They're team. Will Team Runes, will they be able to avenge Monkey's death? It doesn't look like it as they are gonna be splitting away. 
BSJ picking up one, two bounty roots. Um, Monster is hunting down Jubei right now. That's not good, though. You don't want to go into a whole bunch of craves as Spin dashing, and down comes the Dog Boris at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now comes the Reaper Scythe, but no! There was a dunk and a Reaper Scythe, a lot committed for that kill. BSJ, um, I don't know if this is what you want to do. Annihilate East here as well, Bloody Nine. They're gonna try to see what they can do to turn the fight around, but then Team Runes, they just nope out as BSJ leaps out and Annihilate. He's just gonna use his Renin to get out of there. That was actually, that was actually pretty smart. Yeah, uh, Dion, he's gonna get caught over here at the Shrine area. Gonna be able to blink out though in the safety of his good old buddies. That was, uh, that was, that was a smart little, uh, a little bit of space there that they made. Yeah, a good amount of space, because if they didn't do that, then that tier 3 uh, tower would have definitely been uh, a lot, uh, a lot more than it is right now. Monster's pretty low, yeah, she's gonna TB back to base, looks like. Clink's bottom, looking to hunt. Annihilate's gone, though, so, none of that shenanigan. And both teams has kind of just been taking, going back to a more safer, we need a farm, hold off approach, as the map is finally split once again. But, you know, in terms of map control, though, I mean, it just feels really, it feels really bad for Team Runes as they need to try to see what they can do to get things going, get the ball rolling back into their favor. They are going to be smoking up, and they will be not spotted, actually, but Yoda will be... Oh. <laughs> oh, the dust. They didn't spot him out. But no, now Monkeys Forever has spotted him out. Dusted once, dusted twice. The Chain Frost Fail. is going to get used onto monsters. The monster is taken down. All the kids can rejoice. They don't check under their bed. But don't Yoda going to get denied by the neutral. Freak. Wait, did he just deny himself to yes. the easy yes. camp? Oh, my God. Yes, Yoda just denied himself to the easy camp. BSJ tried to jump onto... Um, Try to jump onto Dion, but it wasn't successful. Kenny enjoying his time in the dead lane a little bit with the sacred relic, but oh, the dunk is going to be able to cancel that TP. And now Kenny, he's locked in. There's not a lot he's going to be able to do. The body blocks from Boris, they just might be there. Monkey Scriber, he has TP'd in, and down he goes. But on the other side, though, Bloody Nine, he did pick up Jubei. And they were the damage is also already done. Yeah. Like his his radiant he has his radiance already, Necro does. Yeah. So Um, as if we didn't have enough blinks already, Annihilate Race. picked up the fifth blink of the game. So half of the players in this game have a blink. Boris taking a lot of pressure right now. Out comes the toss into the searing arrows. Wicked sick. And down he goes. Uh, Monkey Scrapper trying to see what he can do. Firefly, no, doesn't look like it's gonna be Come enough. On. Monster is absolutely terrifying. BSJ right now with another kill onto him. And things are just not looking good at all for the team rooms. No, not looking too hot, are we? No. I mean, I mean they have the Ember Spirit, but I mean, the amount of arrows, though, that Clinks has, I mean, it just the heat's just all on the Radiant side. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, monkeys! I'm sorry! <laughs> Oh, that's taunting you. He's taunting you now, dude. Yeah, see, it's like Monkeys is listening to me now. I'm sorry, dude. Yes. I, 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 I didn't. I, I'll try better on these jokes. I'll try better. Be done. Jumping uh -oh. in. Trying to get that combo down. BSJ's oh, TPing in. Speaking of the jokes, that's what I think of this bat rider. B9 gonna follow Jubei from half health. What? Nine. One in how many times? How many hits does it take to kill Annihilate? Probably not about four. The sun not going to connect though. The T1 does fall. Something to note as well. Monster does not have his calling blade. He used it on a creep. He just did not like that creep at all in particular. As <laughs> now fair. the tier 2 tower is going to drop in a very rapid, rapid fashion. Uh, Liz Morris, that Echo Slam, it's almost off cooldown. Will he be able to do anything about it? It doesn't look like it as now. 
Uh, Team Black Sheep, they're moving across the map right now. They're going to try to see what they can do. Roshan will be up in about 40 seconds. Moonlight Shadow will be used for BSJ as he's trying to see what he can do. He's going to be able to pick up one rune. Uh -oh. Will he be able to pick up the second rune? He is going to be able to pick up the second rune as that is Team Runes. They are going to spot out the courier. Oh, BSJ no! will be able to kill the courier, but I don't think that that was the play. He is going to be able to leap twice out. He was able to get out. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Monkey's forever and the rest of the and the boys they were able to take out Dion free for sight though on a BSJ and down he goes bye SJ <laughs> BS jabated BS jabated I mean he did take out the courier so and, and pick up both bounty runes he lost. not worth <laughs> no uh, yeah that's true I mean he, well he got what so he got two runes for his team Right, that's around a thousand to fifteen hundred gold. He killed the courier as well. You know, add another, you know, two to three hundred. Uh, he only lost three hundred gold, but he got about eighteen hundred gold for his team. I would say that's kind of worth it. But it's, what it's not worth though is this second Roshan kill though. Yeah. It is definitely not. Worth All the other that. things that come along with <laughs> your Yeah. Agus and a cheese for money nine. They're definitely going to be happy with that. Um. A little bit of miscommunication and confusion. Uh, Bloody Nine was actually expecting the cheese and not the Aegis. But it's okay. The Theon monster, they got that all. Ma Maelstrom Axe got it. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Speaking of Maelstrom's, Ember's got his. He's also buying a Lotus Oil. Interesting. I expected a Yule's, if anything. And now we have Team Runes. They're kind of positioned up onto their high ground. They kind of know that the Your Doom is impending. They're going to try to see happening. what they can do with this You're risky play. They're going to try to see if they can dust out. But little do they know, B9 and the gang, they're all already here. But the Dunk, it will be able to catch two. And B9 oh. will be taken down. It does look like that him taking the cheese did not play out in his favor. The smoke play, definitely oh, worth it. It definitely looks like it is a hit. 10 out of 10 would recommend on Yelp. And I will leave a five-star review as Dion will go down as well. Liz Boris picks up the double. And things slowly, it's not a lot, but it is slowly gonna tip the scales back over. If Team Runes is able to pick more fights like that, this game will definitely be back into a good favor for them. Alright, so it looks like they should be going for a push sometime soon, but uh... You know, I'm not gonna lie, it. I feel like if B9 took the Aegis instead of the Cheese, he would have been a lot happier. He would definitely be able to bring that to the field. Um... BSJ not, not sitting too hot on the, the net worth chart right now, but he is doing his best to farm up. Um, he is about a good 3,000 behind to get Kenny over. and the other carries, or the other cores, on team, on team. You Legends. know what, Lotus makes sense. I'm okay with Lotus, actually. Armor. Yeah. <laughs> Armor and the, and the spell reflex. He will be picking up the arcane rune as well. I would like to see Black Sheep go for a push sometime soon, make some out of this Aegis. Uh, yeah, they've got like a BKB on Axe. I think they're waiting for the BKB on Necro. Yeah. I mean, he, he almost has enough gold for it. He's about 200 off. Um, B9, though, he's definitely hunting. Uh, while Team Runes, five-man gaming, is it going to be enough? B9, he spots and scouts him out. Out comes the Moonlight Shadow. Uh, Boris, though, he's going to be spotting him out. Out comes the Jane Frost into a dunk. They're going to be able to take down Monster. Aegis is going to get popped. Dion and the Dust might be able to spot this Boris. Out comes the Regrowth. They are going to be able to secure the kill at least onto him. That's fine. And Boris Moonlight taking Shadow. one for the team, though. This yeah. is fine. But... Taking the gank. Um, out comes the Dust, though. They're runes they're gonna try to see what they can do with the with, with the reach around uh, i don't try know i don't about know if this. i agree with this though dion's gonna completely pop them all out they're gonna jump straight onto monster but that's exactly what he wanted though as he's completely taunted reaper side's gonna claim the life of 
Annihilate, and Monkey's Driver is going to drop down as well. Jubei taking a significant Oh, wow. Advantage. Actually, you know what? And we're able to take down B9, though. They have lost two already. There's the toss. So no. far, oh. Oh. BSJ, they've lost three now. It's a three for three. Four five back, though. Yeah, BSJ did a very good job lining up that arrow, being able to take down Kenny before he was able to react too much the second he hit the high ground. And as a result, Black Sheep, they're going to be forced to pull back. Guys, middle tower is under attack. Uh-oh. Juve! No, he's going to be fine. Not Tiny not quite able to get there. Poor Steph. Uh, oh, but Juve went the other way. Okay, you listened to me the wrong time, Dion. <laughs> BSJ getting close to a BKB of his own. Oh, Necro now way. does have his. Hey. Monster did uh, pick up the drop gem as well. BSJ, he's about 500 away from his BKB as well. Very interesting. Tiny is getting Tiny's working right now to pick up a glimmer cape, interestingly enough. Oh, that is yeah. And I mean, it's it's it, it, it is utility. Yeah. Monkey's forever, he is no. going for a Shiva's. <clears throat> the night shadow's been used, but I think it's just to cover their assets. Roche, possibility of being up sometime after this, in these next two minutes. Yep. And Black Sheep right now, I feel like they've kind of hit a bit of a plateau as with the way of how Team Runes has been taking some of these team fights, it has definitely uh, brought back some hope for them. I think so, yeah. But they are going to try to see what they can do to try to make another front onto the high ground right now. Oh, bloody nine. He's gonna be moving up right now. Out comes the arrow after the fissure. The lockdown is there. The living armor just might be able to save him, though. But oh! The everyone was waiting for him. And dog! You gotta take this crash! Kenny now, he's Dominic, dropping I low. Guess. One more hit, and oh my god, right off. Impossible. Kill. Everything falls apart yeah, once nothing. again, monster. He's on the runaway, but Boris is right there looking for him. Boris oh. caught him with the Yules! One stun, two stun, three stun more. Oh, I Annihilate's here to help with this guy. Does, but I Annihilate now. He's got to be careful. But the one is there from Boris. He's going to pick him off. That's a five-man. That is a five-man wipe. The high ground defense on Team Runes bringing them back into this game. 4K gold shift completely moving over now. And I do believe that Team Runes is definitely, for sure, Radiant's back into this game. Is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. BSJ, oh no, he's, 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 he's got to be careful, be literally just Yoda. Yeah. Happening. But they are going to lose this B, uh, BSJ, hello? He's gonna leave, actually. He's gonna leave, and rightfully so now. Oh, I don't know why. It was just me. Tiny that was up, and now this tower's gonna get healed up, I think. Yeah, look. Yeah. Well, they gotta no, he's, take he's, it he's right got out. the rest of his team coming in now. He's got the rest of his team coming in. He's got the rest of his team coming in to support him just a little bit for this push. No, they don't, though. Boris is top, and I annihilates to or, uh, top jungle. Uh, yeah, they're both gone. He's got monkeys, and he's got Jubei. I mean, come on, it should be fine. BSJ. That's not, no, it's not fine. <laughs> That's a bad one. Yeah. Monster's going to be able to spot out this double damage rune. And double damage. Right now, team runes, they are going to be falling back. Like you said. Yeah. Rightfully so. Up here, they're just waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for someone to step up and make that one wrong play. BSJ is going to build a Mjolnir up next, 
And I'm thinking maybe a uh, maybe a Scotty or a Butterfly after that. I don't think Clint's has an MKB and it's getting one anytime soon. No, Clint is gonna go for a uh, gonna go for a sheep stick. Almost has it too. B9, he's gonna get spotted by Annihilate. Annihilate's gonna try to see what he can do to make it happen. No. He's gonna run it away. Not much. Yep. Tree Whoa, toss got the tree! The <laughs> <and> <laughs> to scout it out, but looking at it though, Monkeys Forever though, out comes the Firefly. They're gonna try to see what they can do. Yeah, this two second tree respawn time is really funny with the bat ride. Yep, monster, he is gonna use his BKB. They are gonna be able to catch monkey forever. Out comes the Reaper Scythe, and down he goes. I read your life. And B9, he's going. He smells the blood in the water. He is gonna be able to find Jubei. And they out they come chasing. Bion, even he's over here as well. The Owl, oh no, it's gonna oh, get missed, but the toss it will connect. Down goes Jubei. But Ripper on the Jubei. Space created though for the rest of Team Runes. But at the same time though, Roche Pit has been effectively secured. Now Yoda is going to be able to scout that out. And they're going to start positioning themselves over. Monster is probably going to be walking into the Roche Pit. No, not just yet. Annihilate is gonna start drawing a box as he says we should probably start heading over towards this area. BSJ gonna be taking out that regenerator. But meanwhile though <laughs> There's a cheese here still. Wow. No, I feel like that's B9's cheese. No, it B9 is. They haven't used that yeah, cheese. They never used the thing. Like it's exactly. still. New cheese and a refresher. This time, B9 has learned his lesson. He picks up the Aegis this time. And out they go. They are going for the hunt. They are trying to see what they can find. They will spot out Jubei and B9. He is going to be moving over to intercept. Out comes the Hex. One, two. And down he goes. Arrow is going to fly. One, two, buckle your shoe. Yep. Your green dudes. One, two, Something buckle my shoe. Happened. Down In goes Jube once again. Oh, I thought you were gonna try to rhyme. No, no not right. Now. I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but I'm disappointed. <laughs> no, not at the moment. Going from bad to worse. B9. Now the bad Finally, Flexies are down. gonna be able to take down this middle racks, this middle arrow. tower. B9. Yeah. He is gonna get hit by both an arrow and the fissure. Not a lot of follow-up coming up just yet. Glyph they want to wait as much as they can. They're waiting for the perfect opportunity here. Dyer's middle barracks. Toss with B9 out. And Dion actually yeah. sacrificing oh, himself God. for the cause. Monster blinking in, locking down Iron Island, but no! He does survive the calling blade, but he wants about the Reaper side. BSJ doing whatever oh, he can. No! The Boris. duck wasn't able to connect all the way. Not what he wanted to, but he is going to be able to get a pretty good fissure to line up that chain frost. Being able to claim one, oh two, God, B9. He might get taken down as well. B9, he does secure the kill onto Monkeys Forever. He's going to try to see what he can do onto his Boris. This Boris. Last man standing with the buyback Boris of BSJ. BSJ. BSJ with this Moonlight Shadow. I don't know how I feel about this. He's moving over to that shrine, but Kenny and B9, they're both right here. They're going to start pressuring things again. And the buyback's coming out. Clings B9. He's going to get locked down a little bit, but the uh, Hex, Boris. it comes out. And Boris, a little too aggressive for his own good. His out comes Dion. Ooh. The Yules might be able to save him just for a moment. Oh my god, out can he do it? Comes Boris. Hex. No. And is it going to be enough to save him? The buybacks, though, do come out. They will take down the tower, but no. The blinks are just too much into the Boris staff. Dion might have to pay for it, though, with his life, as Kenny did while he was still in the base. Bloody nine. They're here. Boris with the oh, blink, with the toss up. The Yules, the BKB, though, will be used. He's going to try to run away, but no! Monkeys forever. Run away with from the change, he's going to do what he can to lock no, him no, down. The overgrowth is going to be enough to save him. No, it isn't. Bloody nine. Not going to be able to get the cross kill, but no! All of this was just for an Aegis! 
The Angels are still gonna be there, but oh, bloody nine. Still gonna get taken down. The stuns, the lockdown, it's just too much, and Yoda will pay his for his crimes. Well, I would there. say they defended the racks, but they're losing it right now. Down the racks go, but a good fight overall. They did most of that without a without a really big echo too. Yep. And meanwhile, oh my Monster's God. gonna get completely caught out. Out comes the oh, dog. Speaking of a big down echo. goes a monster. The monster has been killed yet yes. once again. Why am I not here on the Get back in the It's the most important stat. Oh yeah, 40 minutes into the game. Very important to see what level structures are Net worth graph is still favoring black sheep. It it's gone down a little bit. I will say it's probably favoring Black Sheep just due to the sheer amount of towers. Once yeah. Team Rune starts to take down a couple of towers, take down a couple of buildings on their own, because I do feel like that that uh, gold lead, 3k gold lead is not as big as what it sounds as this game can oh, easily no. go in either direction. No, it's 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 mostly Radiant just towers. towers yeah. under attack. Monkey King XP earned is fairly even. As well. Juve gonna use his chain cross to actually two push down this mid lane to try to shove these waves out. Give give Team Black Sheep something to be concerned about once they get back up on their feet. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Well, so our gods of Dota Plus, there was a I think like something like 80%. Probably definitely higher, like a 90%. Uh, yo, good guys. Middle no, like a 95%, I'd say. 95% for, uh, for Black Sheep? It was, and now it's back down to 70. Oh, that's uh, definitely not good. I, I don't know how they, that worked. Well, I, I mean, mean... I don't mean, get it. I mean, that, wait, is it still? No, no. I just, I still don't understand how it works fully. Oh. How, how, how are these numbers calculated? Like... I don't know. Aliens. I mean, there's a good chance of that, yeah. <laughs> I feel like so that as we, uh, forgotten. I mean, there's a reason for that. Something bad is yeah, happening. Pop, pop, in your uh, uh, it used to be hot. Back in my day when things were still fresh, it used to be a pretty God. Hot All right, Grandpappy Pocket, let's get you to bed, buddy. <laughs> Out comes the smoke. Poor team Black Sheep. They're gonna try to see what they can do to clean up their forest, just their jungle, just a little bit. Uh, BSJ will be able to get this double damage in the bottle right up, though. And he's, he's gonna going slurp for that us. one up. Got he as well. Yo, green dudes. BSJ, you know, is as far down into the middle section of the network track as he was earlier. He is definitely right eye eye Oh my god, the scythe! Necro scythe himself! Yeah, he did that. Lotusaur doing a lot of damage right now. Bloody Knight is going to be able to secure the kill. On to BSJ. Kenny, he did buy back. He's trying to do what he can. BSJ is going to buy back himself. The fight is definitely going into the way of Team Runes as... Right now, the rest of Team Black Sheep, they are forced to just completely fall back right now. Dion, he might be in a pretty bad situation right now, as Monkey's Forever, he is getting very aggressive. And right now, Team Runes, they smell the blood in the water. They are going into it, as they are now, BSJ, finally going to be finishing up that bottom tier 2 tower. Something he started about 10 minutes ago. Good dude's bottom just fell off. And onward to the march for the breach, going for the high ground for the first time of the match this time. Team runes, are they going to be able to do it? They're pushing forward. Annihilate's going to eat a tree. It's going to be enough. Monkey's forever clearing out all of these trees. He doesn't want any. Doesn't matter though. Oh, that's a that's a feels bad for monkeys. That, that's... He's no, he's he's here just to catch someone. Yeah. He's not looking for trees. He's looking. To, he's looking for. Which may be a tree, which may very specifically be the tree well, protector. Well, earlier Tiny was in the, in those trees earlier, and I feel like he was trying to chase it out. Yeah. But they are going to be able to secure that melee rack, so that will definitely help this lane in terms of pushing things out. Ultimate orb acquired, so BSJ Scotty is about 
three-fifths of the way there. They were going to take the shrine, but they backed up as uh, I believe they saw it. Yeah, they, saw, they saw the smoke right there with that ward. But Monster, though, he's blinking forward. It doesn't look like it's going to be able to connect. Meanwhile, this Boris, he's going to be moving forward with this Invis room. Out comes the Moonlight Shadow as well. They're going to be spotting a lot of the mobility of Team Black Sheep. And as a result, they're going to try to break yeah. off. They... This, isn't, this isn't a fight they take under Shrine. No. Both teams end up backing off right now. And, you know, as crazy as it sounds, Team Brooks has absolutely turned this game around in a phenomenal fashion. Despite all of the odds going up against them, these team fights are being executed flawlessly by them, almost. The way of yeah, this this meme draft. <laughs> this, this, this they're not taking this game. This is a very meme game for, them. and they're still <laughs> somehow winning. Well, yeah. they're not winning, but they're coming back yeah. for the for, I think first time all game. Yeah, runes are ahead in network. Absolutely. Uh, I think the only other time that they would have been was just earlier into the early game. Monster's gonna try to bleak in, try to get some cheeky plays going down. Oh, but now comes the overthrow from monster. Yoda. They're locking down BSJ. <laughs> BSJ's running, working very low right now. The chase is on. Out comes the toss. It's not gonna be enough. Monkey forever. The oh, dog Lord. from the force. He's gonna be able to catch four. Not gonna be able to kill anybody though. As a result of that little bit of annihilate, he's jumping in. They're gonna go on the Yoda. They will be able to lock him down. Monster. Kenny, Fraser blocked off. Monster trying to do everything that he can. Dion, he's gonna move in. He's gonna lock him down. Annihilate as the Moonlight Shadow might be able to save him. The remnants, he will be able to get out. BSJ trying to do everything that he can and just try to hunt, but he's not going to be able to catch anybody. BSJ still invisible. The TP oh, comes no. out and oh no. But no, Bloody Knight, he doesn't decide to go for it. The no, range got nothing. Monkeys forever. He's going to be able to defend this top lane of Rax because the range Rax is almost down, sitting at 34 health left. And Roshan is going to be spawning within the next 10 seconds. Dion gives up on trying to wait it out. Even the tree toss isn't gonna. Hello. One second now, he's up now. Roche is up. Check again. Check again. They gotta know. They have to. They have the ward though to spot it out. Yeah, but they don't have the. And out comes Jube with the moonlight shadow. All right, they know Roche is up now. Yeah, BSJ took the minus seventy cooldown on moonlight shadow, so you can you can expect that to be used very frequently they want they want b9 i think they know he's here they know he's here yeah b9 aggressive too oh monkeys forever though trying to trap b9 down but looks like the trap was instead on the other side of the field monster getting stuck in between three members of this isn't a fight for runes to take Monster I don't think this is, is a good fight for them take it no monster's gonna get tossed out to safety and Dion. <laughs> With the with a very finesse like play, he's gonna force tap himself back over to safety. So, monster getting taken out of a really bad situation. And monkeys forever. He bought back, and right now Rune's trying to look trying to look to make something happen. No, they can't. Uh, they can't lose this. They can't lose these. Uh, this Roche. It's a very important Roche on. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy, it is. Oh Both my teams. goodness, Crash, this <laughs> game. Figuring it out, pardon me. It does look like B9 is going to be going for that Bloodthorn now. Very interesting. Dion will be going for a Sheep Stick. Annihilate. Nothing in the quick buy yet. Uh, Moonlight Shadow going to be used once again. They're going to spot... Ooh, interestingly enough, Jube <laughs> did just use the chain cross, so it's going to be down for a minute. They're going to be spotting out Monkeys Forever. Out comes oh, the Reaper no. side, then down he goes. That's a dieback for him. Actually, Monster, he's going to find Liz Boris. Liz Boris trying to do everything that he can. The Aeon Disc just might be able to save his life. And the rest of Team Roots, they're going to be backing off and just splitting up. Trying to see what oh, they can do, Boris. but no! Boris is going to get caught out again! Out comes the Boris. toss. The Sheep is going to get used. But Boris, he's going to be able to get out with his hair on the skinny. He's just going to be dead, unfortunately. He jumps back so into much. the action. And... Beat is so much damage! 
Absolutely MVP board. Like almost uh, on the level of Jerax. Like, oh God! <laughs> no, 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 no! Whoa. I'm talking. Whoa. No, no, no! On in this game, <laughs> in this game, it felt almost like last game. It almost felt like the last game of Ti. I feel. That's fair. With with the Earthshaker plays, like it was absolutely phenomenal. So. Yeah, I mean, this game, it it's so bad. Like, just take a look at the net worth graph. It's back and forth of Black Sheep getting this early lead thanks to Klinks just being absolutely farmed. And they lose a fight. But they come back, it's fine because they get pickoffs. But they weren't really winning a lot of fights. There, there'd be a back and forth, like, four to four, five to five fight. But then Black Sheep would get pickoffs. But then Runes would come in and absolutely destroy the fight. Yep. Or... You know, the, the uh, Black Sheep just couldn't break the high ground between Boris, Monkeys, Juve, and Isla and be like, between all their heroes, like, it was absolutely the same Boris. There were a few questionable Echo Slams. There were a few unfortunate Echo Slams. But there were a lot of really good Echo Slams and a lot of really good Fissures, a lot of really good Enchant Totems after got that Ags. Yeah. Um... I don't think Runes would have won if Boris was playing any other hero. No, absolutely not. And you kind of hit that nail right on the head. Um, I mean, even then, yes, there was... I, I think there was only one bad echo, actually. And that was during um, Black Sheep's assault onto the mid-tier mid, uh, 3 towers uh, when he got stunned right before he was able to echo slam. And he echoed while running back and only hit two instead of four. But... Uh, it was just Boris for sure. He definitely turned that game around. He de be between him and Jube as well um, with the chain frosts. 
it, it turned things around in their favor. It took some time. It was there was a lot of growing pains during the early to mid game, but <laughs> yeah. In the end, though, they held the resolve. They held it together. I mean, and they just completely turned it around and dominated in in a very spectacular fashion. I feel. Yeah, uh, yeah, runes. They 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 started off playing a bit goofy. Um, the pretty goofy game. Just to say, also how well Boris did, more damage than than BSK. By six thousand. <laughs> By six thousand. <laughs> all right, all right, Boris. Um, you got it, buddy. Boris did yeah. MVP. Yeah, Boris for sure MVP. I mean, and even then, he was only, he's only about... Wait, did you, wait, did you say he did more damage than BSJ? More damage than BSJ. You're looking at damage received. Oh, god damn it! I am, oh my goodness. <laughs> no, never mind. Never mind. You know what? We're cutting, we're cut. This is, no. <laughs> That's we're on me. Cutting the stream. <laughs> Just cutting the stream right now, but okay, no. Correction, no. He did more damage than I Annihilate, though. He did okay. more damage than I Annihilate by 4,000. BSJ, with pretty good positioning as well, with some of these leaps, he did a really good job. Um, yeah, absolutely. But in the end, the team fight, the high ground defense, how long that they were able to get everything synced up. The fissures, monkeys forever, lassoing crucial targets over the fissure, isolating them all. It was just very good. Yeah. Um, I cannot wait to see uh, what will happen week two of NADCL. Um, yeah, I, this was an intense, intense end to week one. Yeah, this was a very action-packed week one. I, I, feel, I, I feel really good about this. NADCL bringing the finest in amateur gaming. Um, I would say at this point, EG should also take some notes here as well. <laughs> EG take some notes. EG take some notes. I'm I'm saying it right now. <laughs> um, because this is how you play. I feel. I, I, yeah. I, um, a lot of pain in the early game, but you don't tilt. You don't. You don't get. You don't get mad or anything like that. And you just absolutely turn this around. You know. You have to remember the game's not over until the ancient is dead. That's true. There you go. So, so that puts that puts what? So runes. It, it, there's a three-way tie now between runes, truffle salt, and vendetta. Okay. So they are tied for first, second, and third place. Blue Pikachu right now sitting very comfortably at fourth place. Bermudan Frogs and Wheel are tied for fifth and sixth. And Pretty Boy Swag now has a friend with Black Sheep joining them at the bottom of seventh and eighth seed. But that is to be determined a little bit further as we continue to go on through the season of the NADCL. Um, this is just week one, so if you'd like to find out any more, uh, you can just move over to NADCL.com and it'll direct you over to the Smash.GG page where all of the stats and all of the standings are updated frequently. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I would also advise to mosey on over to um, Twitch.tv slash Crash Roni. <clears throat> yeah, twi no, be sorry. Between that and also the Discord, uh, the Discord for um, shoot, the Discord for the NAD for the <laughs> NADCL, which is linked. It, so. it has been linked. Okay, yeah. should so. be. Yeah, it should be linked. Anyways, yeah. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna draw this I'm not gonna draw this draw this on. Um thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh I am Pocket Sox and he is Crash Aroni. You guys all have a good weekend. See ya! Happy Thanksgiving! Poor Canadians. <laughs>